It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Throughout the whole entire Pride Month, it seems as though I've just been criticizing nothing but the whole entire thing, whether it was like drag queens on Nickelodeon shows, or the fact, of course, that there has been people who've been calling themselves transracial, or the fact that there were also some other things that I just find to be questionable throughout the whole entire thing. And the last story that I'm gonna read to you guys is probably the worst thing to end Pride Month on. And so, without further hesitation, let's read the story together and try not to puke, guys, because honestly, God, this whole entire story to me is just disgusting. Yes, kink belong at Pride, and I want my kids to see it. Children need to know that they can make their own ways in the world. And by the way, guys, this was published by the Washington Post. When I first saw this headline, I was completely amazed that it was actually published by a major American newspaper. I was actually annoyed by the whole entire transracial stuff with that guy turning to a Korean. I was, you know, disturbed and thought it was actually crossing the line when Nickelodeon had drag queens on their TV shows for Blue's Clues. And, and of course, I was also annoyed by the various corporate greed that companies are using to exploit the gay community. But this right here, this right here just takes the case. Remember in the past, how many Christian conservatives, you know, warn people that, you know, having some sort of, you know, gay marriage would actually lead to pedophilia. Now, of course, I still believe in gay rights. I still believe in gay marriage. But it seems as though that the whole entire argument that slippery slope is a fallacy, I honestly don't think it does not hold any water anymore. Because sometimes, if you keep on allowing stuff to happen and keep allowing stuff to happen, we will get to this sort of point where pretty much stuff like this is perfectly okay. Let's continue on with the article. Our family often took the train into Pennsylvania, but as we rode across the bridge to attend the city's pride parade five years ago, my wife's legs bounced with a nervous jitter. She squeezed my hand, worried that she might get into a collie or be harassed by a stranger. My wife is trans and wasn't out at the time, so she typically only expressed her identity in the privacy of our home. That morning she wore a green skirt and light makeup, brushing her hair all to one side. Even though we attended pride marches and protests in the previous years, that day was our first celebrating openly as a family. When our children grew tired of marching, we plopped onto a nearby crib. Just as we got settled, our elementary schoolers pointed in the direction of oncoming floats, raising an eyebrow at a bare-chested man in dark sunglasses whose black suspender clipped into a leather stone. The man paused to be spanked playfully by a partner with a flog. What are they doing? My curious kiss asked as our taller children on. The pair was the first of a few dozen kingsters who danced down the street, laughing together, as they twirled their whips and batons, some leading companions by leeches. At the time, my children were too young to understand the nuance of the situation, but I told them the truth, that these folks were members of our community celebrating who they are and what they like to do. This description right here is why I get really, really nervous when children programs like Blue's Clues show drag queens and gay pride parade as if they're not necessarily adult activities. We know for a fact, of course, that the drag queens are meant for an 18 plus old audience. Stuff like RuPaul is not meant for kids. Similarly, these pride parades are obviously aimed for adults. Now, I'm not saying that these people do not have the right to express themselves in their own personal celebration. At the same time, can we please acknowledge that the stuff that's been going on within these sort of pride parades are not necessarily kid-friendly 
and that we should not advertise themselves as kids friendly. It is one thing, of course, if you make a kid friendly pride parade thing, whatever. I don't necessarily care if you do, but to have you know your kid, your son or daughter, go to the sort of stuff and see these sort of adult activities, that to me is scary. It's really scary that we're kind of normalizing kids being exposed as such sexualized images at a young age. And I will say the exact same thing for like kids and pornography too. It's not just the gay stuff. Like any sort of sexual imagery that is drilled into a kid at that young of an age is not great at all. And I do not endorse any of it, whether it's gay or straight or whatever for sexual images. The King community has participated in Pride since its inception, risking their job and safety to be authentically themselves in public. Still, every year, as Pride Month approaches, a debate erupts about whether kinks belong at Pride at all. Those hoping to oust kinksters often cite the presence of children as their top concern. This was poignantly the case this year when Twitter users argued that kink at Pride is a highly sexualized experience that children should be shielded from. I honestly believe that the whole entire controversy was a true litmus test, really. If the people said no to not allowing kids to have kinks, obviously the people like myself and everybody else are very same people. Most Americans, most people, don't want their kids to be exposed to sexual images, gay or straight. And if the people actually answer yes, that kids should in fact be exposed to kink, they out of themselves as pedophiles. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. They completely out of themselves as pedophiles by saying yes. So yes, I do in fact think by answering yes or no is actually the true litmus test of people and their morality. As much as I want them to spend time in queer spaces so that they could be with families like their own, I also want them to know that they shouldn't limit their understanding of what relationships or expression looks like to whatever most familiar. I want them to see that they can make their own ways in the world and know that they'll be supported and celebrated by their community. If we want our children to learn and grow from their experiences at Pride, we should hope that they'll encounter kink when they attend. Anti-kink advocates tend to manipulate language about safety and privacy by asserting attendees as non-consentingly exposed to overt displays of sexuality. The most outrageous claim is that innocent bystanders are first to participate in kink simply by sharing the space with the kink community, as if the presence of kink at Pride is a perverse exhibition that kinksters pursue for their own gratification. But kinksters at Pride are not engaged in sex acts, and they cannot confuse their self-expression with obscenity. Co-opting the language of sexual anomaly only serve to bury that truth and muddies the seriousness of other conversations about consent. Normally for these type of videos, when I'm responding to an article or a video clip, I go through the whole entire article or the entire video clip. However, this to me is just the exception to the rule. Because the more and more I read this article, I literally feel just absolutely disgusted inside of me. Like, normally, of course, like the topics that I cover are silly in nature, but this right here, this literal article advocates for pedophilia. There's no way out of it. Like, this whole entire argument that somehow that you should expose little, little children to sexual acts at these sort of Pride Month parades, that to me is too far. It is just absolutely disgusting. If you happen to be gay or lesbian or whatever, part of the alphabet crew, right? Please, please, try to denounce this sort of stuff as much as you can, please. Because you need to really show these sort of people that pedophilia, this sort of stuff, is not acceptable. Not in the slightest. And that nobody, nobody should actually say this is perfectly fine, this is perfectly okay. Well anyway guys, that's the article, but uh, yeah, 
I feel disgusted. Absolutely just disgusted right now. It's everyone's friend.